Hey there, gang. Great to see you again. So I want you to check this out. In this app, I have a view that I can rotate around using a rotate gesture. Probably if you've done any sort of gesture work before, this looks pretty standard to you. But as you can see here, my object is always rotating around its center. Now, in many cases, this makes sense and matches up with what your users are expecting. But there might be times where you want something a little different. For example, there may be times I'd want to rotate my view around where my user's fingers are instead of the view center. Well, how would I do that? Well, that's where this episode's quick tip comes in, and as you may have guessed from the title here, it's all about using anchor points. An anchor point of a view is a local coordinate system that goes from 0 to 1 in the x and y axes. When you manipulate a view using CG Affine Transform, which is the way you would typically rotate or scale a view, iOS calculates the transformation based on the view's anchor point. By default, every view's anchor point is set to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, or the exact center of the view, which means that, by default, any rotation you get from a CG Affine Transform is calculated around this center point. However, I can change the anchor point for my view by setting the Core Animation Layer's anchor point property. So going back to my application, where I want the view to rotate around my two fingers, I can look at where the user's two touches are, relative to the view, and calculate the midpoint of those two points. Then I divide the x and y values of that midpoint by the width and height of my view to normalize them. And then I've got an anchor point that reflects the midway point between my two fingers. And so now if I set my view's layer's anchor point to be this new value, I should be able to rotate it by one of its corners. So let's see this in action. Huh. Well, uh, that's weird. It does look like my view is now rotating around its corner instead of its center, which is what I wanted, but it's also jumping around as soon as I change its anchor point. Well, why is it doing that? Well, the answer basically boils down to the fact that Core Animation places views based on their anchor points. So when I change my view's anchor point, iOS tries to make sure that anchor point is in the same place in its super view as it was before, which means that it shifts my view's frame around. And that's exactly what happened in my app. So how can you fix this? Well, the easiest way is to translate your view immediately before or after you change your anchor point. Basically, figure out the difference between your old anchor point and your new anchor point, and shift your view by that much. Then, when you change your anchor point, iOS shifts your view in the other direction, those two shifts cancel each other out, and your view will go back to its original place. Uh, incidentally, I do recommend applying this shift as a CG Affine Transform instead of like trying to move the view's frame directly. Otherwise, you can end up in weird situations where your move gets affected by the rotation and things just end up all sorts of messy. So if I try this now in my app, where I immediately translate my view and then move the anchor point, we get something like this. Ah, well, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, incidentally, once you're done rotating an object, you can either leave its anchor point at its new position or reset it back to the center again, depending on whether you think other methods might be manipulating this view. After all, some other animation, like a scale animation, might be assuming that your view's anchor point is in the center and you don't want to throw it off. So today's quick tip was brought to you by Jeff Verkoyan, one of the main authors of the popular open source library Nimbus Kit. Jeff is also working on a number of cool graphics and animation libraries here inside of Google. So thank you to Jeff, and uh, you know what? Even though you already work here, I'll send you a t-shirt anyway, because I'm nice like that. But what about you? Do you have a quick tip? If you do, send it to me. If I end up using it in a video, I will send you a t-shirt. Listen, I've seen engineers at conferences like knock small children out of the way in order to get themselves a free t-shirt. So trust me when I say it'll be a whole lot easier for you to just mail me a tip and, you know, no children will get hurt. So go on. I believe in you. You can do it. And as for the rest of you, I will see you soon on Route 85.